All right, Coach, you haven't seen the film yet, but based off what you have seen, how do you feel like it went today? I was really pleased. I mean, I thought the guys played hard. Um, we, had, we had good things on both sides of the ball and, and uh, had some mistakes, but I think this was different, a different scrimmage than what we've seen and what we've done in the past. Uh, we had a defense pretty much call whatever they wanted, and they pressured quite a bit, and then they they uh, varied up the, the coverages. And so um, for our offense, it was a little difficult for them to see all the different looks that they were getting. and and for our quarterbacks to, to know when the pressure was coming and where to get the ball to. So I think we were able to test our guys. And, and with doing that on defense, we made the quarterbacks live so that we could see what they can really do. And I was really pleased with what I saw. Now, we'll grade it out and see who did better. But um, there's some good, there's some positives and some negatives. That, but I, I definitely think we got better as a team with, with the scrimmage and what we did today. You have some guys out due to injury. I noticed Alev Hifo and Lopini Kato were also sitting out. Is that because of injury, just giving some guys some other reps? Yeah, alevo has been out for a little bit for spring, and, and, and you know Matt Bushman and those guys. So um, their roles changed this spring. We had them be more like coaches and, and, uh, and help, and, and it's helped them understand their role a little bit more and, and to learn the offense better and uh, having Zach and all those guys do that. But it also them being out allowed the uh, – the younger guys to step up and get better, you know. And so, um, it was it was really cool for our guys to get live reps and and uh, simulate it like a game and get tackled for the quarterbacks and everybody. And we put some pressure on our on our kickers and punt returners and and our you know our place kickers to see what what they can do too. So, um, I, I think it was just an all around good competitive day. Um, I think we probably had a lot of reps with the ones um, that a lot of people weren't expecting, but. Um, we just didn't want to hold anybody out that, that could have practiced. And even the guys that didn't do much of the live reps on defense, they, they practiced and got, uh, got some good work. So they got better even though they didn't do the tackling. With those kind of new guys coming in, stepping up, because there's some injured, do you feel like they're taking advantage of that opportunity? Oh, yeah, definitely. And, I th and I'm really happy that their coaches put them in a position where they can thrive and their, their roles can be uh, magnified. You know, they can actually um, be out there teaching and we, we know that peer-to-peer um, -peer teaching is the best way for our guys to learn. And so uh, we're, we're, we're putting them in, in a position where they have to speak. And um, it's not really comfortable for a lot of those guys. Some of them are really shy and don't like being the type of leader that has a talk. And tough, that's just how it is now, you know. So getting out of their comfort zone is going to allow us to grow and become better as a, as a for them individually, but it makes the team a lot better. And it makes it easier for us coaches when, when we can have all, a lot more people involved and have more coaches on the team. You have a few more spring practices left. How do you hope to kind of end spring ball? Well, get a good good jump start to the off season. Um, I mentioned talked a lot about our players and running running things and, and installing and doing things in meetings. Now it's a good time for them to, to run the practices because uh, we'll be limited with the time that we can spend with them. But um, as far as the player run practices, it's going to have to be shifted over to them. And, and that co in combination with their off season, off season conditioning and strength and doing it in the weight room, so uh, the strength conditioning. So I, I think it's going to be really good. I feel good about the, what they've done, and the next week we'll, we'll work on trying to get that, with that in mind, trying to get ready for the season. So I, I don't have much to worry about. I'm just nervous about not sp have my gum sp fall out of my mouth while I talk. Bad Priorities. Form. Yeah, it's bad form to have my gum in, I know. But you've, been, uh, you've been doing pretty good so far. So. Yeah, I just lodge it. I got fat cheeks to lodge them into, so I'm good. Anyways, we got off subject, but yeah, go Cougs. Had a great day. That's great. Thanks, Coach. Thank you so much.